So what's the big deal about Pro Tools HD anyway? I hear you can use GarageBand and do the exact same shit for practically nothing. I guess it's sort of the same thing as having a 12-inch penis versus a 3-inch penis. They both might look the same when it's really cold, but that's about it. Well my friend has a 3.2 GHz Super Quadra Core 5000 with 16 GB of RAM and a Nitrous 2200 Ampere Dino card with a Area HD FireWire 800 Overclock Tetra interface. He says it kicks the shit out of Pro Tools HD. Have you heard what it sounds like? He doesn't have any speakers yet. Well, a lot of the big studios that you might work with one day use Pro Tools HD. Maybe that will be important one day, if you ever learn how to play an instrument and read music, and can sing on pitch. Why would I want to do that when I could make up shit about digi design all day? I hear they're in cahoots with the Israelis at Waves and they're stealing money from me while I'm standing here talking to you. Can you fucking believe this guy? Look, I'm telling you, my friend really knows his shit. He does websites and is a beta tester for Blizzard Entertainment. He says Pro Tools HD costs $100,000 and it sounds like shit. Plus, you can download all the cracked software you want for free and use it with GarageBand and Reaper and all kinds of other free shit. Get me? Look, I really don't think your friend has done enough audio work to really make a critical listening decision about what kind of platform works best in a professional setting. Yeah, well who the hell are you anyway? I am a four-time Grammy Award winning mixer and producer. Is that like beats or something? Can I find it on YouTube or something? My friend has stuff on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter. I could put one of my turds on Facebook and you never know. Really? Can I watch?